I've seen a few comments lately on various platforms that have been asking this very similar question. Is it possible to get rid of a sociological lens of the world? In this video, I'm going to look a little bit into why perhaps you cannot and perhaps why you might not want to. I did once teach a class in sociology some years back and I, I have a vague memory of starting the semester along the lines of welcome to sociology from here on out all your relationships and the way you view the world is fucked or something like that. Half joking. Any excuse for a dark joke. So what is a sociological lens? In essence, it's a way of observing social phenomena and understanding how social structures, institutions, norms, and so on impact and affect your life. It's really kind of looking at the hows and the whys, not just the what. It examines the broader context of how individuals and groups function. It really covers a lot, histories, beliefs, interactions, so on. It's all about context and not just taking things at face value. Realistically, it's not just a sociological lens either. It could also be referred loosely to as an anthropological lens or under the guise of various perspectives, functionalist, structuralist, etc. So why might some people want to stop seeing the world this way? Some people suggest it makes interactions feel way too analytical. Others feel like it's really overwhelming as they're continuously reminded of social issues. That's understandable really. It's not just an academic tool and just some academic term. Fundamentally, it's really about exposing and addressing inequalities, power dynamics and privilege that is everywhere in society. That could be pretty fucking heavy. So is it actually possible to stop seeing the world this way? Reality is, once you start to see the world this way, it's nigh on impossible to go back. Of course, there's the red pill, blue pill analogy that sort of springs to mind here, although if you're aware of anything in anthropology and perhaps certain subgroups of society, I'm pretty reluctant to make the parallel. You might, however, liken it to riding a bike. There's that saying, once you learn how to ride a bike, you never forget. Or perhaps learning a language. You might not remember all of the language, but you tend to at least have little smidgens there. Or even little gestures reminding you of fantastic cheese and pizza. And there are real world consequences. Although it could be pretty taxing and tolling to identify these issues and have to feel like there is a need to address them. Not necessarily individual, but collective. A lot of good has been done. Without acknowledging the context that these perspectives give, the root causes of issues, which include things like poverty, sexism and racism, just to say a few of the major ones, might be completely overlooked and continue to be completely overlooked. The consequence is you never really get into the fucking bottom of anything. Probably one of the most frustrating things is that whilst you can learn to use such a lens to identify these inequalities, it doesn't make you exempt from them and it doesn't make you exempt from proliferating them either. And it doesn't necessarily give you any agency or power to make any changes. I would argue though that without it, it will certainly ensure 100% that there is definitely no change. I think majority of us don't want that. But all of that is fucking overwhelming. I would say though, it doesn't have to be. You don't need to use these contextual ways of looking at the world to just focus on the issues. You can use it to think about the good stuff too. Why not give it a try? Just try not to destroy the things you love. I'd love to hear your comments on this topic. Do you feel like a sociological lens helps or harms your view of the world? If perhaps you're not sure, then just leave a comment and highlight something you might want more clarity on, and we can explore that more. And if you do want some more light-hearted explorations, do check out some of my other videos. I mean, it's not dark all the time, although there will be probably a fair bit of swearing from time to time, but they're just words. 
keep exploring new perspectives and I'll catch you on the next one.